today's your boy Tyson C. So basically today in this video guys I'm actually talking about well showing you guys the cheapest BPL squad of FIFA 17 and you guys should actually build a squad and try to play with it. It will actually help you through divisions and for those for those Xbox people who are on the early access you can get a start on it early and build a squad and you could just kill divisions. So yeah so let's get yeah guys so let's start off with the striker the striker i'm gonna use is this guy the afro sako from west ham and trust me this guy is, is just such a beast that same name he is he's running like 96 alarmy and he's just so quick he's just actually so freaking fast and wow the next right mid or right wing position um I'm with her, I'm with her when Sam's new sign it. Fig Woody. Because Fig Woody, trust me. Oh. Somebody can't spell Fig Woody. Okay. Fig. Okay. Somebody can't. Okay, I got a Fig Woody. Okay. Okay, but trust me, that 88 base from Fig Woody. Wow, that 88 base. You can't even touch Fig Woody, actually. Right? You can't even touch Fig Woody because he is just that quick. And this job, he, that evil job, he could just weave in and out all the tight spaces, creating a power balance for the defenders, and it's so amazing. Um, moving on to the center attacking mid. So, for the center attacking mid, I'm gonna choose. Yeah, guys, so for the center attacking spot, um, yeah, so the, for the center attacking spot, I'm gonna choose your yeah, boy. After choosing, he's just such a OP beast. He goes by the name of Ander Herrera. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna be like a Man United fan boy, just pick her because that we kind of bias me. But trust me, Herrera, he's cheap. He, he gets the work done. He has some decent overall stats for center mid 70 p center shooting. 72 shooters, sorry, 81 passing, 84 dribbling, 71 and 71 physical, and pretty much 45 minutes. He could hold on any way in that pitch, and he's just killing it. Let's get him straight in the team. The left mid spot. Woo! Woo! Left mid spot, boys. Who should be this left mid spot, you might ask? I'm going for him. I'm going for the boy himself. Dimitri Payet. If you don't know who Dimitri Payet is, look at this. Close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. What Dimitri Payet can do, and he's just clinical. He right now, I think he's going for about Siski in around 10 k well, That's relatively cheap, but but um, he's cheap for now. But when the game comes out, he's pretty much going to be full 20k and thing. But he's cheap for now, and you need to get him into your team basically. So straight on, this good. Hmm. Jack Rodwell, Jack Rodwell, Jack King Rodwell. Um, okay, Jack Rodwell. Because previous FIFA's he's been clinical, he's been good. Look, look at those stats, yo. Look at those stats. 65 pace, it doesn't matter what pace he has because he still runs like 99. He's like the the Eto <clears throat> back when he was at Chelsea in FIFA 14. That pace is what Jack Rodwell, Jack Rodwell had. Um, sorry. So yeah. Um. So the second defensive man, I'm going for the person who hardly gets start for Manchester United since Pogba reach. Since Pogba reach, he's hardly getting start, but he's he's so good. It's more than 
yo, we need to start him because I find he has a lot of career potential and that he could he can actually attack that ball very nicely and Mourinho we will we have Pogba and we have Fellini but for me I rather I prefer play Chinale over Fellini because of how well his attacking work it is and he could get back and actually win tackles. Not that Fellini could um win tackles suggest that he passed back the ball, that ball to Jimmy Fardy. And yeah quick and exciting into Vardy but well read by Fellini but he's left it short and Vardy's in here can he finish it he does Leicester a level 1-1 in both now moving on to the left back to the defensive part of this team um I will be going for Aaron Cresswell from West Ham he, he was a silver last year Thank you. He was so bad. Also, he got upgraded to a goal, which I'm TDZ because he also be one of the major left backs in the whole BPL last season. So he is okay because that's not he plays. Man, he's just flying on the wing. That's not he plays. Just whipping up ball to Saku. Saku just take it on and volleys it in and wow, what a goal! Just, just imagine that in your head right now, boys. Two centre backs, two beautiful centre backs. I'm going for. Eric Bailly or Eric Bailey, or however you want to pronounce it. And never actually include this while I'm going for Cahill. I'm actually going for Gary Cahill with that 67 plays. These two different, okay. So, um, me run the rapid Cahill for shitty Chelsea player. <coughs> Chelsea fans, I'm sorry. Yeah, so basically. Kiel, yo, he has an 84 defender and 76 physical, whereas Bailey has 82 defender, 83 physical. So Bailey, Bailey has a pace rate, Kiel has physical, no, the defendant. So when these two combine together, you're, not, you're basically not going to pass. No, no one, not even going to, not even going to pass these two centre backs. They are solid as basically. So and. I'm telling you, this right back, this this right back, this right back, boys, this right back, he goes by the name of Byron, and he's the right back for West Ham. Yo, yo, not much to say about this guy. He's a young, good balance, good agility, good speed, good physical, good dribbling for a cheap dribbling for a right back. He, wow, wow, just what no words can explain. Like how good is, how good he is actually. So coming to the final player of the team, um, my goalkeeper. So you guys wondering, yo, why are you gonna include some OP goalkeeper? Or are you gonna include some high risk goalkeeper like Czech Kotwa de Gea? No, 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 no. I'm going for Crystal Palace goalkeeper Mandanda, Mandanda, and wow, yo, he got the top. I think it was top 10 or top 5 saves of the week in the second or third week in the year. He got, he got a, he got a, he pulled out a pretty good save from fucking Crystal Palace and he deserves to be in this team because he plays amazing in the game. Look at, look at those stats, yo. 85 reflexes, 81 position, and nobody does not care about the end kicking. 80 handling and 986 diving and wow. So yeah, guys, this is the team right here and. This has come to the end of my video guys, so I actually hope that you enjoy my video. So don't please please like, subscribe and share my video guys. It's a work. Tyrus. Tyrus FC guys. And I'm out.